Today in this video, we're going to talk about what kind of house can you buy with a USDA rural housing loan. Check it out. Hi, I'm Rhonda Burgess and I'm a real estate broker and mortgage underwriter here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. And my firm is Southern Living Realty Partners. Okay, let's get into it. First of all, uh, we're going to talk about what kind of house can you buy on a USDA loan. First of all, let's do a little history lesson. Y'all need to know a little history of the USDA program. Back in the day, we used to call it the Farmer's Home Loan. That's what it was called, especially when it was still under HUD. It was the Farmer's Home Loan. Um, then it became uh, the USDA Rural Housing Loan. The, the program is designed to promote home ownership in the rural communities and they're looking for people with uh, low to moderate incomes so first of all let's talk about high income people who could normally do a conventional loan let's say you have the 20 percent down you have money for your reserves um you know after closing all this good stuff if you qualify for a conventional loan you cannot buy you cannot use a usda loan to buy a house this is strictly for people who would not normally um, qualify for traditional conventional financing okay this loan is not for investors this is for home owners let me say that again this loan is for home owners now I know people say well you know I'm gonna say I'm gonna live in the house whatever that's between you and you and your God whatever you do okay all I'm telling you is the loan is designed just for people who are going to be homeowners, families who are going to live in these houses. There will be several times where you will attest and affirm that you will be living in the house and that, that it will be owner occupied. There's an affidavit that you have to sign and it is notarized at closing stating that you will owner occupy that house. Like I said, I have all kind of investors calling me. Well, you know, I can say I'm going to live it. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do it. That's between you and whatever you want to do. But all I'm telling you is the guidelines say is for homeowners. It is not for investors. Okay. You, it has to be adequate and suitable housing for the number of occupants also. Okay. This is something you need to keep in mind. So if it is a three bedroom home and you have five, six kids, it's not going to work because you have to, you're supposed to have adequate number of bedrooms for the number of people. Now you could probably get away with it. You know, I see it come through all the time, but I'm just telling you what the guidelines say is, you know, you're supposed to have enough bedrooms in here for the number of occupants. Okay. Um, I know it's a minimum, I think of 600 square feet. I think it is 600 or 700 square feet. So you cannot do a tiny house. Let me say this again. USDA will not guarantee a loan, do a loan for a tiny house. That is a very specific type of property. Outside of the USDA, I don't know of any lender in particular that will lend on a tiny house. Because see, that's very particular. Because if the person buys the house and lives in the house and it says they want to sell it or they don't want it anymore or whatever, you got to find somebody who specifically, specifically wants a tiny house. And USDA don't do that. Like I said, I think it's a 600 square foot minimum. I do believe it is, but don't even try it with the tiny house. We won't do it. We won't do it. Keeping on with the things that USDA will, the types of houses that USDA will not lend on container homes i know y'all seeing all the rage about these uh, shipping containers they put them together you know they build them and you know one or two stores or whatever they're doing it with the shipping containers usda will not do it this is what you call a unique property container homes tiny homes they're all unique properties you will have a hard time finding any lender to do a unique property because as I told y'all before, remember, lending is all about liability. It's all about liability. So you have to think if they have to, if the bank has to foreclose on you. And now let me tell you, they don't want your house. The banks do not want your house. So if you fall behind on your mortgage, call your bank, call your lender, call them and tell them what's going on. Believe me, they don't want your house. They do not want your house. 
it's, it's, it's a bigger, they lose so much money if they have to take your house back. Okay. So then when it comes down to whether or not they want to lend to you, they're going to look at the property because if it's a unique property, they're not going to do it. And you're going to have a hard time trying to find somebody to do it. You know, berm houses where it's built like into the side of a mountain and like you may not have no windows on the back because it's really partially underground. You don't have problems. Those yurts, I think I'm saying that right. Those round houses, you know, they round, they ain't got no square walls. It's just a big old, you're going to have problems. That's a unique property. And I'm not saying it's a problem for USDA. It's not only a problem for USDA, it's a problem for 99% of your lenders out here. You're going to have to find a specialty lender who does that. And when you get into unique properties with a specialty lender, it's going to require a higher down payment. It's going to require some type of down payment because they need a buffer. They need some type of assurance that you are truly, truly going to pay for this house or they need to, they need for you to go into the property with some equity just in case they have to foreclose on you so they can try to get some of their money back. Continuing on, what kind of house can you buy with a USDA loan? You can buy a manufactured home, but not an old manufactured home, okay? You can do a single wide, you can be a du you can do a double wide, you can do a triple wide. You know, I, I watch these videos too. I told y'all I watch a lot of YouTube. Man, they doing some wonderful stuff in these manufactured homes these days. I mean, this stuff is nice, nice. Just know this. You can do a single wide, a double wide, a triple wide, but it's got to be built 2006 forward. Don't don't run up, don't look. Don't call your lender talking about you found this 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 trailer and you know it's leaning. You know it's leaning. Built in 1988, and you want somebody to give you a loan on that. Not going to do it. Not going to do it. I'm just telling you. USDA does not issue guarantees on houses that old, on manufactured homes that old. 90% of the um, loans I think I've ever seen done with USDA, they were all like a single-family stick-built home. Let's talk about something I know we run into here in the South, y'all. Some of y'all may not understand this. Barn dominiums. We run, they, that's a unique property. That's a unique property. You're going to have a problem with that. Now, you may can get some lenders to take it because it is more like a single family stick built house, you know. So if it's got that barn thing going on, it's just a different type of way we describe it. As long as it's livable square footage inside there, you know, it can't, you can't have the horses on one side and you got a bed on the other side. This, this ain't going to work. Okay. But as long as it is still a single family home built like a stick built home, you can do a barn dominium and you can do a manufactured home. Okay. But we don't, they don't do, they don't do freaky weird stuff. Let me say that. Um, another type of house that we do not do that I have seen, like here in East Tennessee, you get up there in the mountains and I've seen it in the coastal uh, areas because we went from just underwriting just Tennessee loans to nationwide. So I've seen properties all over the country. OK, if your house, if the house you're looking at is on stilts, OK, you know, like maybe you down towards uh, New Orleans way. Florida, Alabama, you're in the coastal areas and your house is, they put it up on stilts because of the water, you know, because of the seawater and everything. Won't do it. I'm sorry. Even if you're in a rural area, but if that house is on stilts, they won't do it. So what I'm trying to tell you is when you're looking at what type of house can you buy with a USDA loan, you're doing just cookie cutter, really single family homes. Yet if there is a duplex in a rural area per the guidelines uh i do believe that you can get that done i've never seen it i'm just telling you it's a it's a lot of stuff in the guidelines that doesn't exist and so um if you find a duplex i do believe and you're going to own or occupy it on one side you know i do believe you can get that done but one thing you have to remember, you're talking about properties that qualify for rural housing. Normally, you don't find multifamily properties out there in a the rural area. You just don't. OK, so I do believe you can do it on a duplex. Again, I've never seen it done, but that's that's one of one of the types of houses that you can do. You can do a manufacturer, no stilts. 
Again, my name is Rhonda Burgess, and I'm a real estate broker and mortgage underwriter here in the Nashville, Tennessee area. If you need help with buying or selling a home here in Nashville, I'd be glad to help you. My number, you can reach me at any time at 615-554-0832. Thank you, and as always, have a blessed day.